What can happen when a beam of light is incident on the surface of any object? When a light beam is incident on the surface of any object, a part of the light can be reflected by the object, a part of the light can be transmitted. That is, it may pass through the object and get out from the other side and a part of the light can also be absorbed by the object. The amount of light reflected, absorbed or transmitted depends on the material that the object is made up of. If an object is opaque, then it will absorb and or reflect most of the light back. If it's transparent, more light will be transmitted. Can you think of examples for these two? The surface of a mirror is shiny and opaque and most of the light rays are reflected from it. On the other hand, glass is an example of a transparent object. It will transmit most of the light. So what is refraction of light? Here's how we define it in simple words. It's simply bending of light when it travels from one medium to another. Yes, if it is incident at this angle, then it goes through at another angle. Now this is not the exact definition as there are a few technicalities involved. Let me explain it to you. Consider a transparent object kept here, say a glass lamp. Suppose light travelling through air is incident obliquely on the surface of the glass. What do I mean when I say obliquely? It means slant. It implies that the incident ray is neither parallel nor at a right angle to a specified line. Now this light will bend at the boundary of the two media. Here the two media are air and glass. This bending of light at the boundary of the two media is what we call refraction of light. We see that at this point the light bends. It's not going straight. What are these two mediums called? The medium from where the light is incident is called the incident medium and the medium where refraction occurs is called a refractive medium. Similarly here as well, the light is travelling from one medium to another medium. It's from glass to air. And here also it is incident at an angle. Since we know that air is a transparent medium, light bends at this boundary and travels through air. So light refracted at these two points. Let us draw a line perpendicular to the surface at this point of incidence. This line is also called a normal. What is this angle called? It's called the angle of incidence and is denoted by the letter I. It is an angle made by the incident ray with the normal. And this is the angle made by the refracted ray with the normal. It's called the angle of refraction R. Now there might be various questions that you have. Why does refraction occur? Why does light change its direction after entering another medium at an angle? Why does incident light have to be slant in order to change its direction? Can the refraction occur if the light enters perpendicular to the surface? We will answer all these questions in the coming videos.